I've got gifts for you. I don't want to hurt anybody. We're going to talk about rethinking two cents today. I started my life like a lot of people, my professional life, in a cubicle, which is great. <laughs> but I got bored, and I felt like there was a lot more to seek out there. Plus, the protesters sleeping outside of GAP kind of annoyed me and made me rethink what I was doing, what the value was, what, I, what more I could do. So I said goodbye to my lovely salary and stability, and I joined the Peace Corps in Morocco, where two cents has a lot more value than it does in the United States. But volunteering is a tough way to make a living, so I came back and became what I now am, a capitalist. <laughs> it's not a dirty word. An innovator. Through my ice cream company, I get to make new things every day. A philanthropist. Besides giving away pennies, <laughs> we give away thousands of dollars to environmental nonprofits. I'm part of the 99% and the 1% as I run a business that some people might find undesirable, as well as an entrepreneur and a change maker. <laughs> After years of working in the ice cream business, I came to the very profound conclusion that two cents just doesn't buy much anymore. And I'm guilty of polluting. I have this terrible habit when I'm fishing for change for parking meter and I find pennies, I just throw them on the floor waiting for somebody else to pick them up. But if used correctly, pennies can be a building block to something huge, both literally and metaphorically. And through this, through just simple pennies, you can save a whole lot of the world. You'll get some, don't worry. <laughs> it was through this conclusion, these thoughts, that I launched the new land conservation initiative, Ice Cream for Acres. And through this, and through our donations through 1% for the planet, we're now conserving land through the purchase of each pint of ice cream or each half gallon. And if you look at the math behind this initiative, it's, it's quite simple, but it adds up to something quite profound. A pint of ice cream sells for $2.40 wholesale. 1% of that, which we're giving away anyway through 1% for the planet is 2.4 cents, but we're all, we're all friends, so call it two cents. And then a little math. An acre is 43,560 feet, and we've started to work with two environmental nonprofits that are buying land for $25 to $175 per acre to conserve species and to preserve the rights of indigenous peoples. This land is, of course, just a mere fraction of what land in Palo Alto would cost, but it has a huge amount of impact on the lives. So if we average that out to $100 per acre, you simple two cents preserve eight square feet of land. So we're going forward with the promise to our customers, to those who aren't our customers yet, that through the purchase of each pint of ice cream, one little pint, three scoops, we're helping, we're directly funding the preservation of six square feet of land. And considering that the average American eats 40 pints of ice cream per year, <laughs> sometimes all at once, as you can see, <laughs> and there are 307 million of us in this country, if all the ice cream that was eaten funded the preservation of six square feet of land, that would be 73 billion square feet of land, or more than 2,600 square miles, which is larger than the state of Delaware. So we really can have huge impact by seemingly insignificant choices that we make, whether that's starting an ice cream company, buying an ice cream, helping somebody in the simplest of ways, you can make it rain. <laughs> so I'd now like to invite you to come join us for ice cream at the break. <laughs> but it's not free. 
we're offering it for the bargain basement price of two cents. Thank you.